Honest question, what is everyone's pubic maintenance procedures? I used to trim. Used to? I got lazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another awesome episode of The Careful Boys. And today we have Walter Honk back in the Walter! Studio. Welcome back, Walter. So right before the uh, cameras turned on, we were talking about how you just started going through puberty again. Yes. <laughs> Hi. What? That's good news. Dude, I finally got the fuzzy hair. It's nice. <laughs> like what? On your balls? What do you mean? No, no, no. Not on my balls yet. No, no. But oh. like right above the penis. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. The pubis area. Yeah. The puberty. Did you have a clear puberty? A clear puberty? How <laughs> was a clear oh, one? No, because you know one. some people like, like a hazy one. Oh, I remember in sure. I remember in fifth grade, I was like, oh, hey, what's up? That's the homie. See you. See you next year. Have a nice summer, right? Sixth grade comes around. Hey, yo, what's up, Bart? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. the fuck? Yeah, all my Mexican homies, they came back as a man when they were 14 years yeah, old a with a beard and a mustache, and I'm like, man. I'm like, that's clear puberty because yeah. I think mine was just like like fucking gradual. Yeah, like fucking a plant growing against the window. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Super slow. Yeah, and I'm still going get it. I don't have that. See that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just got hair on my kneecaps like this past year. Wow. <laughs> like, no, for real. Like, and I was like, oh shit, I think I'm going through like my real puberty. I'm 30 years old. Your real one? <laughs> you do look like you're due for a puberty. <laughs> like, if I grew, let my chin hairs and my mustache hairs grow out for like a month, uh -huh. it'll be. It looks like that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just had a shave. It was like tiny. Well, did you have one? I had I had facial hair from sixth grade. Oh, what? Wow. I, I thought I was gonna have a full beard by like sixth high school. grade. I, I had I had whiskers, um, but then God was like, "That's it. <laughs> like you're only gonna get hair. So if I if I go out a month, it'll only be here and patches. Uh, I can't go with full mustache. Right. Um, but yeah, no, I, I had I had fuzzies from sixth grade. But you know, at sixth grade, you don't, I, you know, you don't tell friends things that, like, at least for us, we didn't be like, yo, like, what are you going through? And you're, we didn't do that. <laughs> so like, I, and then all of a sudden I thought it was normal. And I remember we were all talking one time and then um, someone said something and then I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I do. And they're like, what you do? Ew, Walter has a hairy dick. And I was like, <laughs> at that point I was like, I was like, no one else does. I was like, no one else does. <laughs> That's a they said, "Ew, idea. Walter!" <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna be the reaction. I thought they were all gonna be like, "Oh yeah, me too." Like oh, I got some too, but everyone's like, "Ew, what?" No. So they uh, puberty shamed you. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. But and then th what was even funnier was is that I was young for my grade because my birthday's late in the year. Oh, so in sixth grade, I was 11, 12. Like that. That's you were the oh the the later yeah yeah mm -hmm. I was like later. So I just assumed that everyone was has already. Been, is going through this, but no, it was a clear one of those like, okay, you should have kept your mouth shut because <laughs> like I was just like Harry, Harry Dick Walter. Did you get a growth spurt? <laughs> my, gro my growth spurt happened um, sixth, seventh, eighth. So eighth grade, I was pretty big, like I was like five four, five five. But I wasn't the tallest, obviously. But in fifth grade, I was the fourth smallest in class. Wow. Like, whoa. Girls, boys, everything. And then in sixth grade, at seventh, eighth, I started getting bigger. I was captain of the defense uh, in football. And then I thought, man, when I get to high school, I'm gonna be a football star. Yeah. yeah. And then that summer between eighth and ninth grade, Koreans don't grow. We just don't grow. <laughs> that <laughs> specific. Yeah, every, everyone That's else so grew. And I got to high school football, and then you know people were like, "Oh, you're gonna play? Like, Dude, I'm gonna play like linebacker. I'm gonna play defensive end. I get to, I'm gonna I'm play cornerback." Cause there's no way, dude. People grew like I'm talking like six feet, you know, 180 pounds. And then I remember they, they uh, we were watching the sophomores play. The O line, our sophomore team was Korean and Chinese. I'm talking like what school is this? Pounds? Sunny Hills. Oh, our, Lancers. Our, yeah, like, our, our you went there too? Yeah, yeah he's, he's a fellow. We went the same time around, but you're like a year apart, I think. <laughs> 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 Uh, our center. He was a year older. A little, yeah. <laughs> I came in right after, right after. That's super hairy dick. <laughs> our, like, our, our center for varsity, but then they did all county, all North Orange County, all South Orange County. He was all North Orange County center. He was a Korean guy, 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 but as a freshman, he's huge. Yeah, yeah. And he, Korean, he, dude, he, they did the Oklahoma drill where they basically just go head on. It was two versus him. He depleted both of them. Oh, and I remember as a freshman going, dude, that's the biggest Korean I've ever seen in my life. What does depleting mean? Like you knock the cleats off? Yeah, no, like they just, they're, they're, they fall. 
Oh, uh, so they're off the ground. My <laughs> <laughs> cleats are still on yeah, the floor. Yeah, Body's gone. gone. Yeah. I thought, I was like, damn. That's a call. Decleated. <laughs> and two guys, they fly off of their shoes. That's a flag on the player. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke coming from the shoe. But yeah, the, so our school had like these big Asians, and I thought, oh man, we just, I just stopped growing. And then like everyone else, we were all like, all the Asians, we were all pretty like short. Like one or two guys were big. But everyone else, we were like the same. So That's what happened to me time. too. My growth spurt was in junior high and I was taller than a lot of my black friends. And I was wow. like, I'm gonna be super tall. <laughs> and then in high school, be the NBA. <laughs> I was like, they keep growing and I don't. Yeah. What's happening, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's weird. But junior high, I felt like that was like the peak, the pinnacle. Yeah. And then I after that, it's been all downhill after that. <laughs> Anthony Lee is one of the tallest Asian men I know. Really? Yeah, one of them. You know what's crazy? I had a really late puberty, um, and um, this was a really embarrassing thing that I'll never forget. Oh my god, um, I I went through puberty in like the beginning or the end of freshman year of high school. So that's when you start getting hairy balls. <laughs> yes. Anthony wow. Lee's a hairy boy. So your voice yeah. changed in high school. In high school. Oh, wow. Okay, so that means at the at, in summer school, I'm in like this in the science classroom during summer school, and my. Um, you know, when your voice is changing, it sounds almost like you lost your voice or something like that, and you're just kind of going through this thing, and I had to give this fucking presentation, like your worst nightmare type stuff. Um, and I go up, and then I start talking, and there's a girl in the class, stupid bitch, and she looks, she's like, he's going through puberty! Oh, oh, no! She's a fucking Eunice, huh? Yeah, that's a Eunice. <laughs> a Eunice Kim, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't even know Eunice. But that sounds like something she would do, though. Like, that's fucked up, right? Like you're just standing there, and you're like, <laughs> "Good morning, Was glory, happy bitch." <laughs> <laughs> fucking Karopi pencil case, I bitch. Karopi. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Why is there a Eunice at every fucking school, man? Yeah. <laughs> Mom still dresses her at 10th grade, bitch. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, I was, um, I was, a, uh, I was five four, and 154 pounds. And then by the end of sophomore year, I was 5'10 oh, and 154 oh pounds. Wow. That's good. So all the weight yeah. like went to good. I literally went. So you went like this? Yeah. My total height could be in that margin. <laughs> Dude, 5'4, 150, that's that's pretty big. Yeah, it's kind of I was chubby. Wow. Cause I, I, I was made fun of. I was I was probably like 5'4, 120. Yeah, that was, those were my stats too. <laughs> those were my stats. Maybe 115. Who knows? Same. I was like 115 till senior. Yo. You, yeah, you, you were a skinny boy senior? though, Joe. Like, Your what, photos what are crazy. Dude, yeah. you were swimming in those pro clubs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, those pictures that they posted with your shaved head, <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, oh, wow. Joe is... He came like 5'7 in a 120. Looks like you could put one hand around wow. your neck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back in retrospect, do you like that you had puberty later or would you prefer earlier? I don't... I mean, I don't know if it would have mattered. I, I think Pick I would have preferred dude. earlier. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I think that like, especially at that age when you're fucking just stupid, right? The later you have puberty, the more embarrassing it is for yourself and your identity in that time. Like, yeah, more emotional yeah. damage or something. Yeah, you know, you're looking at other people that are fucking starting to like date and like get all buff and stuff and like grow hair and you're this Asian boy that's like still talking all high and like, eh. oh, But what, what about, saying? that's the reason why you got your height. Cause it seems like all of us who got early puberty, we didn't get the height. Yeah. So what if it's the exchange? Oh, well then yeah, I'd way rather have late because I'm dunking on you fools now. Yeah, yeah, yeah but hey, for it, sure. when, when we meet on the airplane though, I feel like I'll be more comfortable. You yeah. will be for yeah. sure. Yeah, I hate airplanes. I love them. Sure. Have you <laughs> seen like you? This, dude. <laughs> have yeah, you units on the airplanes since? fucking falling asleep fully, like laying down <laughs> in one chair, you know what I mean? But have you seen Eunice since the puberty debacle? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Do you ever look her up just to see like yeah. what she's at? What do you think Eunice is doing now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, you guys keep saying Eunice, so Eunice face pops in my head, but I'm pretty sure her name wasn't Eunice. So now I'm thinking about the wrong person. <laughs> Probably fucking Esther or a Grace or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Eunice. Francis Choi. <laughs> yeah. Francis Choi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very possible. Like, honestly, you guys are at least like one of those four names for sure. Because I was every Korean girl at Sunny Hills. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. For sure. Esther, there, Eunice, dude, when Sarah, Sarah. Julie Ha. Julie. Julie ha. <laughs> remember, remember in high school when we were there, there was a Jenny with a Y, a Jenny with an IE, and a Jenny with an I because they wanted to be different from 100, each other. 100. Yeah. yeah. But See, they were all still like time. Kim or Kwok. 
Yeah, yeah. There was we had Gim so, too. There was, now we're just making up names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of a Jenny Clark. But you know what though? Okay, I, I think puberty late and puberty early probably has the same mental and emotional effect. Although I think maybe later might be more. I feel like later. Because you're not like, with everyone. Yeah, yeah, you're just looking around, you're like, I'm a late oh, bloomer, yeah. and you felt weird about it. But you know what's gonna happen alone. at least? That's true, yeah. You're like, I, okay, like everyone won the lottery, before, but I'm gonna win saying. the lottery soon. So it's like looking down your pants one day. <laughs> yeah. One day. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys kind of like try to foreshadow like what you will look like with puberty because when I started getting peach fuzz I got my mom's eyeliner thing and I started drawing it in and I'm like so that sounds like a Joe exclusive dude <laughs> you were simulating simulating the future yeah because I was like oh yeah then I got a little fucking dick hair and I started like <laughs> that's tight and then put it back in your mom's makeup bag <laughs> basically you did it to your pubes too yeah. when, I, when I got whiskers early I thought I was gonna look like Ryan by like high school like full beard, that's what I thought. Ethnicity shift. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna become Filipino? <laughs> I'm gonna be Filipino my second half of Okay, okay, so the, I'm, sometimes the grass is always greener on the other side. Um, I've always coveted having facial hair like Ryan, being able to grow it and like, you know, he could do handlebar mustaches and shit. He could like shave this and turn into like a cholo. He could do this, turn into like Hitler, whatever, right? Like, perp. that's a perk, dude. dude. dude Indian guys. Hitler? Yeah. Are you like, are you like, yeah, I got this like man stashes, this. No, I actually, facial you know what's hair? funny is I actually wanted to laser it off when I was younger. What? Yeah. Wow. But what about now? Because it wasn't the style like oh. ages ago. Like, everyone wanted of, to be boyish. Yeah, fresh out of high school, it was yeah. still boy band look so I was shaving every day and it was so much like I would always get cuts because you know the more often you shave mm. then like the harder it is to shave yeah, yeah, yeah. so I, I would just be so annoyed I'm like I looked up if I could laser and they were like no you can't is it is it for you like the five o'clock shadows a real thing like, it's yeah. literally growing during the day it's five o'clock sure. 5 a.m. for sure yeah that's yeah. pretty cool though even five this is only five like five like you guys have seen the, the how much time it takes to grow it's it grows pretty quick I have, I have a question then because you know you have a full beard and I feel like you're, you're you've got that like virile manly thing going. Do you also have hairy toes too? I don't. I don't actually. Wow. I don't have a lot of yeah. body hair. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't, I don't got a ton of. All the testosterone like, got even, even stuck arm, right here. My arm hair is not really. I have that much body hair everywhere else. His face is all over my body. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Do you guys, that's perfect. Do you guys have body hair? I don't really have that much body really, hair. I don't have body. I'm hair. like a dolphin I in the water. Yeah. Body hair. <laughs> like for swimming when they ask us to shave. Look at my legs. Oh, that's yeah. pretty yeah. hairy. Yeah, that's good. Me too. For an Asian man, you guys barely have anything. Look. I'm like Japanese with my hair. Yeah. I, really oh, have oh, like, I just got hair up here, yo. Check this out. Wow. Just got I think Chinese and Koreans got the least amount of hair. Yeah. Body yeah. hair. Do you guys know any Chinese Koreans that have back hair? Yeah. Well, I know two high. guys that have back you hair. Set those people on fire, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think they did long time ago yeah. because I only know disgusting. Dude. Yeah, we're trying to end their genetics. Dude, chest hair, get out of here. Yeah, bro. chest, chest hair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you should have said really that. Have Wait, do you really have chest hair? Yeah. Like do you shave it or no? Let me no. see. Show. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see it. Oh, oh that's not that bad though. Damn, that's, that's really chest hair. Nice. Holy it's shit. nice because it's in the middle though. That's nice. Hey, does Nina run her fingers through it? <laughs> But serious question though. I don't think I have that much that you, uh, she could run one finger through it. Just like, just hey, so, it. so in high school, did, did you show Eunice like, yeah, I'm going through puberty. I, I have none of this shit, shit, dude. You didn't rip off your shirt and be like, yeah. Eunice probably had chest like, hair yeah. too. Dude, you should find, you should really find Eunice and then like point your finger at her and go, she's going through menopause. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Women love that. <laughs> You're wild, dude. Reverse That's it. Go to her work. Yeah. Go to Kaiser or wherever she's at. <laughs> That's what she gets, dude. <laughs> she had it coming, dude. Fucking mean bitch. She had it coming. Is anybody else hair jealous hair. of Ryan's facial hair? I'm always a. Do you, have you guys, dude? Have you guys noticed though? Like, I don't know about other other races, but like <laughs> Koreans in particular, if a Korean man can grow a full beard, they've got one. Got one what? A full beard. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that can grow a full beard. <laughs> they have a full beard. <laughs> they have a full, like any Korean that can grow a full beard, they've That's got a full true. beard. Like, like, oh, like if you're capable, oh, yeah. you want it. They have you it. show that you have it. They, yeah. they show up. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, That's yeah, true. Yeah. It's like having a Mike Song. Mike Song got facial hair. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's the only Korean person I can think of. But he can oh, grow one like that, though. I, I, think, no, I think we're talking like this. I think we're talking when like I, that. When, dude. I see, dude, this when I see like <laughs> Koreans and Chinese get um, facial hair, it comes out Kung Fu Master style. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like whiskers, 
Yeah. It's like, yeah, the goatee. Oh, oh like Fu Manchu. It, it's very, yeah, it's just like. I don't mind that in like 15 years for myself, though. Like, you wanna look like a Kung Fu master? I would not mind. It's wispy. Yeah. If I'm for sure, like, like, okay, I, I dream of being fucking, you know, the silver haired fox style. Like, if, if I yeah. can, because my dad doesn't have any, uh, he, does, he doesn't have the gray hair. It's basically black, it's just like balding. And I'm oh. like, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want like strong, healthy black hair, but like six of them. Yeah. <laughs> but you got a nice full head of hair, bro. Off, right yeah. now? Yeah, but you know. You want to be like a George Clooney. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? I want salt and pepper. Mom got a lot of hair? She got she got enough hair. It comes yeah, from the mom. Good. It comes from the mom. Yeah, you know. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah. Their balding comes from the mom. Genetically, yeah. So you're good. It's not it's not it's not genetically from like your grandma grandparents or something like no, that? No, it's from your mom's side. The female genes. Dude, oh, Joe's never gonna run out of hair. Look at this guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at that. Look thing. more like his mom every day. <laughs> I know. Really gotta, Asians don't really gotta worry about receding hairlines that much. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. A lot of my friends do. Yeah. Like, I have a friend I haven't seen in a while. He had to wear a hat, take his hat off one day. And his hairline was like in the middle. Yeah, you got the bro, dude, too. as you take your head off. I know, wow, like, bragging, jeez. Oh, was that was that too? It wasn't subtle enough? It was a bit Sorry. luscious. <laughs> bro, your hair is so luxurious. Luxury. Is that a perm, bro? Yeah. Yours is like salt and soy yeah, sauce. Your hair it looks like it's exactly where it started. Yeah. It, it, it is. That's it so is. great, man. You got good jeans. The only part is we see this probably here, yeah. but it could just be me like trying to you know, pretend that I'm old. But what about your pu <laughs> what about your pubis area? So this starts going back. That has not receded. Yeah. Thick, that's thick, expanded. Huh? That's expanded. Dude, that's expanded. You know what's embarrassing when you when you're on the swim team in high school and like like white guys, their their pubes, you know, everyone their pubes expand out. Goes up but their the leg eyes, hair, too. like kinda of, it blends. So when you see a white guy in swimming before we shave for uh, like the finals, um, it just looks like oh they're just hairy. But for an Asian dude with no leg hair when your pubes expand out, <laughs> yeah. it just looks nasty. It looks like we got a guinea pig in our fucking speedos. Yeah. You, gotta yeah, exactly. shave, you gotta shave that thing down. And that's when it gets awkward. Yeah. That's when it gets awkward. Yeah. It's like, who who put a possum there, dude? Like you're stealing from- trying to like escape and shit. <laughs> like, you're, like you're shoplifting yeah. at the pet store. <laughs> Honest question, what is everyone's pubic maintenance procedures? I used to trim. Used to. I got lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, just trim or shave too? Just or just like I tried yeah. shaving, but my hairs are so fucking thick that I always get ingrown, and that shit up. hurts like a motherfucker. Yeah. You don't use manscape even, even with the manscape clip thing, like that's a one almost. That's fine, but then you gotta go zero on the manscape. Yeah, but then like it's still <laughs> it's still I don't like that Straight stage. Only. It's too itchy because it feels like sandpaper. Yeah, yeah, I think it's when you have like. Strong thick hairs, yeah. you know what I mean? You like, yeah, you I tried shaving and I like that shit was the most like mm. yeah, I Well, I remember the first day that I shaved my balls. I was like this is fucking butter. Yeah, but day two three <laughs> four five It's Yo, so yeah, and then you just yeah. fucking like yeah. literally you're rashing yeah. sometimes yeah. And for and for love, but then you, get, you, very you good. get used to it though You do but it's like also like kind of not worth it when you're like constantly in motion and like, you know You gotta leave a little hair. That's yeah, why yeah, I started doing more like the one. Yeah. Not yeah, like that's what I did the one. Not like the big. I, I, I have a you know? question though. I have a question. I have a question. Bart, so. you said you get used to it. How often do you do this that so, you know? If I'm being good, I'll try to do it like once every two weeks. Oh, but wow. but then now, um What do you do? Shave your balls in the shower? Yeah. But now, do you have a mirror there? <laughs> so you don't need to. You have on. the the manscape thing has a light. Yeah, see everything. The manscape is actually it's very good. convenient. Yeah, it's really good. And I use that to shave my butt too. But they don't sponsor us anymore, so fuck them. <laughs> so yeah, I use it. I use a Remington. Use actually. anything else. <laughs> use a brawn. I use a fucking knife. Yeah, go to, go to fucking use a rocks. Gillette, uh, you can waste that yeah. one. <laughs> Dude, I, I've only done it once. It's, yeah. it's only because I got curious. I was curious at what it would be like. Yeah. Oh. And it was, and it, like I, I agree with Joe, it was itchy. It, was it makes your itchy. dick look bigger. Oh, I, for that I just push the fat down. That's right. Yeah. That's what I do. That's I would do the push like the a, a, a comb and an old liner, like an old liner that I had. I would just do that. With a comb? Yeah. So because my hair goes freaking long down there, so then I have to like put a comb, a comb to protect my skin, and I just go. Is it is it so long that it's like longer than your penis? It's well, it started off longer than my penis. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine Ryan shaves his pubes like a Sweeney Todd barber. <laughs> what? I, I imagine on top of his dick, he's got a handlebar mustache as well. You got the le you got the old timey shaving cream. I put a little like a little cape around it too. Like <laughs> I just don't understand why Asian pubes don't grow like our hair or anything else. It's kind of like 
dreads. It's what probably you got resentment. The way that it grows, oh, it's, how so, it's so coarse. Yeah, but it's also straight. It's not very. Oh, curly. mine aren't very straight. My, mine's mine's my I, like mine. If you see one on my bed, they call it the desert snake. <laughs> you get Cause cool. Why is there a legend it around? It? It's cool. Yeah, because it's all. <laughs> Who's they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah, housekeeper. Yeah. When I say it's they, girl, what, what I really mean is just me. Yeah. But like, I don't want it to be like just me because it's embarrassing. Uh. So I say they. <laughs> so you identify as a they, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my that's my pronoun. But I, I do a little trickery. <laughs> my pubes look wise. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah, see well, one, you'll wise. be like. That's a wise kung fu master. <laughs> <laughs> Only the gray ones though look wise. Yeah. No, like you know, case. Okay, so it's I'm, been through some shit. Yeah. <laughs> gray pubes like I'm of wise. age to have a gray pube, and like so people are like, oh, like what was it like? You know, when you see one, not a big deal, because it's just like okay, one just you know made it out. Yeah. When you see two or three in the same area, that's when I, I really start to feel sad. You don't feel like a silver fox? No, I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they mean by silver fox. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a regular George Clooney. <laughs> Peppercorn, baby! <laughs>